Hi, I'm Bob Keneally from Black Magic Design here at the One Source Studios in Hazlitt, New Jersey. Today we're going to be using the ATEM SDI Extreme ISO. So what we're going to do is we're going to be able to play back replay out of DaVinci Resolve through the Ultra Studio 4K Mini into the ATEM SDI Extreme ISO to do great replays from recordings that are coming into the ATEM SDI Extreme ISO. Now with DaVinci Resolve replay and an ATEM Mini, it's accessible to everyone. So this way you can do a live replay of sporting events at any level. Let's take a look at what the replay editor does for us. This button here is, says set POI. If I double tap it, it clears it. When I hit set POI, it goes to, to the POI. Up here, I have run and dump, which we also have in the software. So I can hit run, it's gonna run a replay. I hit dump, it takes it back out. When I hit input view, it changes the input view of my Solve software. And I have full view. When you do a replay, then you can punch which camera angle you're using. This is also where we do the live slow-mo. So if you hit the live speed button, you can slow down the playback as you like and ramp it back up. And as I mentioned, when you're doing a replay, uh, you can add it to the timeline. And so anything that you do during that replay will be added into the timeline so you can play it back just as it was done live on air. So in the output tab, I am going to record to this folder here and on this disk that's attached, it's a SSD drive, and I'm going to hit record. So now I'm recording all of the cameras. And the next thing we want to do is go to DaVinci Resolve. In DaVinci Resolve, we are going to be able to import that media. So I'm going to go to import media. I'm going to look for that drive and find the folder that we recorded into. And there they are. I'm going to bring in camera two, three, and four. All right. So you can see these red dots. That means they're growing files. That means they're still recording, but we can play them back. The other thing I want to do is bring in additional media and that's our stingers. So I'm going to bring in these three stingers. And what that does is allow us to add stingers to our replay. And now we brought those in, OK? So we have the stingers. And now I'm going to turn on replay in the cut page. So replay controls have now been turned on. There's a drop down here. I'm going to add auto stinger on. So now I grab the stingers and load them into the slots. And whichever one is still highlighted in green will be the one that we use on air. Now that we've done that, I'm also going to look at the input, the live input view. So the input view shows me the multi view that I have out on the ATEM. So now what we're going to do is look for a point of interest that we want to actually add to playback. As we're recording, we can pick up a spot anywhere. So I'm just going to go in and hit POI. So I hit POI. So that means point of interest is marked. So at any point, I'm going to run it. So right now, I'm going to select this camera, hit run. And while it runs, I'm going to pick the other cameras. So I can pick any of the cameras. And then when I hit dump, it goes back to the live action. So at any point, you can just clear out the POI and put in a new one and you can go back and look at the input view. So there you go, something exciting may have been happening there. And what I can do is I can just go and look at the camera feeds and I can come down here and say, oh, well, something was going on back here. And I can clear that POI, add a new one, and then pick a different stinger. When I hit run, we're gonna run and it's gonna take whichever camera I pick and I hit dump, it's gonna go back to the live action. The other thing you can do is when you do a replay, you can add it to the timeline. Let's go back and we're gonna look at the live view again and we'll see if we can find another highlight. Now on the panel, I can 
double tap to clear out the point of interest. And boom, I get hit a point of interest right there, say. Now, I'm gonna go pick a replay. I'm gonna hit run, and I'm gonna pick this other camera angle, and then I'm gonna hit live speed, and I'm gonna slow down the replay, and then I can turn it back up. I hit dump, and we're back. Now what that'll do is actually on the timeline, it will represent the slow motion that was done, including the ramp down and the ramp up. So you could actually play this back just as it was done in the replay editor. What you have there is a lot of flexibility to uh, not only do the replays live and have them go down the downstream key, but you're also able to save the replays so that you can use them at a later time you can get going and do a really great replay system at a very cost-effective price. I want to thank OneSource Video for having me here. For more information, go to onesourcevideo.com for all the videos and happy editing.